It's Derby Day as the Ospreys travel west to face the Scarlets at 2.05pm on Boxing Day. Join us now as we look ahead to the big game with Dan Evans and Ben John. Dan, Europe's out of the way for a few weeks now. Back to the Pro 12 this weekend. Scarlets, Boxing Day. Exciting game and something all the supporters are looking forward to. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a massive occasion, you know, the, the Christmas time, uh, Boxing Day derbies, everyone loves, you know, playing them and watching them and that's this year's no, no difference, so, but, you know, we've, we've done well in Europe this year, so we've just got to take that form into the league and hopefully we can uh, get the victory on Saturday. It's the type of game that a lot gets spoken about and written about it, but as a player, as part of the group, is it just the same as any other game or is there a little spice to it, you know, how do you feel about going into it? Yeah, obviously every derby's the same. You know, you know the boys were a little bit better than every other game, but at the end of the day, it's another game, and you know we've got to we can't go off our our game plan, and we've just got to concentrate on our game and not let you know the occasion get the better of us. And hopefully, if we just play how we want to play, we can we can get a good victory. Scarlets uh, at the top of the league. We are working our way back up the league after a disappointing start, but as you said, a bit of good form in Europe, so it's got the ingredients for a cracker. Yeah, you know they've they had a good start, and you know. They've struggled in Europe, so hopefully that'll put a little downer to their to their sort of preparation. So yeah, we've just got a yeah we had a disappointing start, but we've got to forget about that now. We're looking forward, and you know, like I say, taking every game as it comes, and hopefully the way we've been playing the last couple of months, we can really uh, have a good one on Saturday. And this little Pro 12 section now, three games after Scarlet, it's the Dragons, and it's Leinster, the Liberty. You say you take every game as it comes, but there's a chance there to. Really build some momentum like we have been in Europe. Yeah, exactly. It's you know three games and you know it's two game home games after this. So um, hopefully we can really build that momentum and like I said, climb the table and with a few good uh, victories. And just reflecting on Europe, another two points in France on the weekend. Clermont's huge win over Exeter the following day has perhaps put what we did out there last month in perspective, and it really is building up for a massive game when Clermont comes to Liberty now next month. Yeah, going to France and whoever you're playing in France is a is a very tough, tough, you know, it's a tough, uh, tough game. So, yeah, we've got a it's a big, massive game. Clermont coming to us because it shows that you know Exeter, you know, they sort of beat they beat Ex um, Clermont quite convincingly. So hopefully we can sort of emulate that and play to our game plan. Well, this is exactly what we want to be involved in going to the New Year, big games, big occasions, to show what we're all about as, as, a, as a business and as a rugby team. Yeah, exactly, and you know, it starts this Saturday in Boxing Day derbies, and you know, something to get excited about. The Ospreys look to start the new year with a bang when they take on Newport Quent Dragons on New Year's Day. Kick-off is at 2pm. You can secure your seat now by going to ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets. Beat the match DQs by printing your tickets at home. Why not celebrate the new year in style by booking yourself into the new and improved black and white lounge? The lounge has been relaunched for its opening ahead of the Dragons game with places available at the special price of just £49 per person. Bookings close on Tuesday the 29th of December, so call Kerry Jones now on 01792616488 or email hospitality at ospreysrugby.com to secure your place. Then you're back in the starting lineup at Bordeaux on the weekend. Uh, another good team performance and two points. Are you excited about being involved with the Scarlets this weekend again and for what will be your 50th Ospreys appearance? Yeah, really excited to get my 50th uh, appearance if uh, I'm involved the weekend. So, uh, on the weekend, uh, last weekend, it was good. Good, exciting rugby we played and uh, I'm sure the boys enjoy, but it'll be a totally different game now, Scarlets game. So, but uh, we'll still. Uh, so enjoy it. What are you expecting on the Scarlet? It's going to be a different type of game. Expect be a bit more physical, a bit more brutal. A bit more physical, a bit more tighter. Obviously, the weather is not going to be out in, like in Bordeaux, the uh, the sun. So uh, it's going to be yeah, a bit more wet and a, bit, a tighter game. It's going to be a big crowd, big atmosphere. Is that the type of game that people want to be involved in. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's going to be a big atmosphere. Obviously, going to be loud being the Parker Scarlet. 
and uh, yeah, it's going to be loud and it's, yeah, boys really looking forward to it. What experience have you got of these derby matches? You know, what, that you can turn back to and point to as good experiences. Um, I, yeah, I, pl I played. I think I played lot, uh, two years ago. I think I played in that one, uh, and that was that was a great experience. Um, I played when I was in Dragons last year. I played uh, against the Scarlets then, and in the Park Garden, it was a full stadium, so it was. It was it did, did enjoy. It. Um, yeah, it was a tough, tough encounter. It always is against the Scarlets, so uh, we're expecting a, a big game. And it's obviously the start of a busy run of games for us. Yeah. Dragons next week, Leinster home, and then it was going to be a huge game against Clermont in a few weeks' time. So it's an exciting <coughs> time for players, coaches, and supporters. Yeah, it's a big month, a business month, really. Um, got to get our wins in the next couple of games. Obviously, in the Pro 12, we need we need a couple of wins again, uh, fourth spot, and uh, the two big wins then uh, at the end of the end of the month for uh, the Championship Cup. That's what, that's what we're looking for. And I think we can, can achieve that as well. And I think the key message is not to get distracted too much by the, the fact it's the Scarlets, because ultimately we beat the Scarlets, but lose the next two, we're in a worse position. So it's about targeting each game. Yeah, yeah every week, yeah, that's, um, we won't get ahead of ourselves. We're going to target each game as they come. Um, so obviously this week, Scarlets, next week then Dragons. So we're not going to look further than, further than the weekend. That's all for now. Don't forget the Ospreys are home to the Dragons on New Year's Day. Tickets on sale at all the usual outlets and make sure you buy yours now and support the cause.